Aloha from Hilo, Hawaii. Today we're going to learn how to make our own toothpaste and we're going to learn how to make it with bentonite clay. And you might ask, why are you putting clay in your toothpaste? Well, bentonite clay is some pretty neat stuff. Bentonite clay has a negative charge. And so anything that has a positive charge is attracted to it. So our toothpaste also helps us get rid of some of the toxic uh, compounds that we might have in our body. What happens is that these toxic compounds like maybe mercury or even uh, small uh, radioactive isotopes will be drawn to the bentonite clay and it will pass through the body as you go to the bathroom. Now the bentonite clay, as you can see, is a very very fine clay. We get this from the bulk herb store and I can um, provide links for that but you can look this up online too. Um, bentonite clay uh, soaks up water like a sponge so uh, there's this little trick at first to learn how to mix it um, but uh, to prove the point that bentonite clay attracts uh, positively charged um, particles, what I'm going to do is do this little uh, simple experiment. So what I have here is I have some bentonite clay mixed into this little glass and I've got a 9-volt um, nine battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up, I'm going to use the, the yellow wires here uh, to hook up to the positive. Now if I dip this into the bentonite clay right now okay you can get an idea of how it looks now since the metal has a positive charge anyway you know and, and, the, and the fact there's this viscosity with the clay um, some of it's being drawn to the uh, to my bolts here that I'm using as uh, electrodes okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the yellow to the positive side of the battery and hopefully everything will stay okay, let's put that down like that and I'm going to hook up the dark wire to the negative and now we'll put this into the into the bentonite clay Let it sit there for a couple, a uh, few seconds here. Okay, can you see that? Let's do it some more. See how much more the positive, um, the positive bolt is picking up the bentonite. That's because the uh, the positive charge is attracting the negative charge of the bentonite. See that? It's huge. There's a huge difference. Let's do it some more. Okay, that's a pretty dramatic. Uh, uh, showing of just a look with a 9 volt battery. Let's do it, dip it one more time. I think this is just amazing. Now, this is what happens when you swallow bentonite clay. And in fact, uh, in the Chernobyl disaster, they were putting bentonite in, uh, in children's candy bars and uh, to help. Uh, get rid of the, some of the radiation from the body. So this will this will um, help rid some of the toxins in your environment. Plus, it's a mild abrasive, so it makes a good um, it makes a good uh, toothpaste. And in fact, uh, if you go to the dentist, a lot of the times they'll use uh, different types of clay toothpaste when they're cleaning your teeth. So I'll just disconnect our our battery here and get that put that out of the way and um, 
So another interesting note about bentonite is that many wineries use bentonite clay to clear the wine because they'll they'll float uh, different uh, types of bentonite and clays uh, on into the into the batch, and that all the particles that are suspended will attract to the bentonite, and then the bentonite can be uh, will actually settle, and then uh, uh, then the wine is racked, and uh, that's how they clarify a lot of wine. Okay, so now, how do you make your own bentonite toothpaste? Well, I have two tablespoons of bentonite, and I'm going to use one teaspoon of baking soda. And I use baking soda because it's also a mild abrasive. If you don't want to use uh, baking soda because maybe of the sodium content, um, that's up to you. Uh, but uh, also uh, the sodium helps uh, get rid of some of the bugs too. They don't like it either. Um, when I'm mixing uh, this mixture, I use a chopstick. So I'll go ahead and mix this up. Now I'm using a chopstick because it's not metal. As you can see, um, we don't want our, our bentonite mixture stripping out um, the, uh, <laughs> the metal molecules right away. We want this to be, you know, energized for our, when we're brushing our teeth and then ridding ourselves of whatever toxins we can. So just going to mix that together. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about four drops of essential oils of peppermint. So I'm going to put in one, two, three, four. Four good drops of essence of peppermint. And then I'm going to start mixing some water, some filtered water in. And I'm going to do a little bit at a time first. Normally, I would just do this in the uh, in the container that I'd be using, uh, but I want you to see, you know, how how to do this. You want to add a little bit of uh, of filtered water first, and the bentonite will just soak it up right away. It's like a it's like a sponge. So I'll get in there and mix that up. Add a little bit more. Filtered water. And I want a consistency that's thick enough for it to stay on the brush. I don't want it too thin. And then, you know, if you put in too much water, just add a little more bentonite. It's really easy to do. You'll never have to buy your own toothpaste again. Okay, once I got a good mixture going, I'll put it into my own jar. I always save my jars. Never throw away good jars like this, especially dark jars and nice jars that um, block out uh, light so that um, uh, the contents can't be hurt by uh, um, you know various light uh, frequencies. Okay, and this is actually just a little thinner than I would like, so I'm just going to add a little more bentonite to it. Maybe a, a, a teaspoon and a half.
It really depends on how fine your your bentonite is too. And always use the fine ground bentonite. Don't use anything coarse because that could, you know, scratch into your teeth. But the fine bentonite is just fine. Works really good. Okay, this is this is more of the consistency that that I like. And then you just put some on your brush. Like so. And brush. And swallow. Mmm, good stuff. All right, until the next time, this is Steve Parente signing off from Hilo, Hawaii.